Before we can learn how to balance chemical equations, we have to be able to look at molecules, know how many atoms are in them. The first molecule we will look at is potassium bromide. Potassium bromide has one potassium and one bromide. The way we can tell it has one of each is by looking at the molecule. We know, since there's no coefficient here, there's no number here, there has to be an invisible one. There's no number here, so there also has to be an invisible one. And also on the bromine, an invisible one. So we can tell that each molecule of potassium bromide has one potassium and one bromide. Let's change it up. Let's put a two in front of our potassium bromide. That two is going to change how many potassiums there are and how many bromines there are. The big number multiplies everything. So we take the invisible one for potassium and multiply it by two. So we'll get two potassiums. Do the same thing for bromine. One times two, two bromines. Now, let's look at lithium oxide. You can see lithium has a two on it. That means there are going to be one times two, two lithium ions. There's going to be one, because the O has an invisible one, there'll be one O. Now, let's take two lithium oxide molecules. You can see we have a big two, it's going to multiply the little two. So there will be two times two, otherwise known as four, lithium atoms. Also take that two, and we're going to multiply our invisible one. So now we have two times one, two oxygen atoms. Sometimes you'll get a molecule with some parentheses in it. You can see it on my lithium nitride. Sometimes we'll see parentheses around part of our molecule. These are called polyatomic ions. NO3 acts in a special way. It's grouped together. It acts like it's one atom. Usually, when we have parentheses around something, we might have a number down here. Since there is no number, we're going to have an invisible one. The number out here multiplies everything inside the parentheses. So if this did say two, we would have six oxygens and we'd have two nitrogens. It does not apply to this side. But since there's only a one there, we don't have to do anything special. We've got one times one, so one lithium ion. We've got one times one, one nitrogen. We have three times three, three oxygens. What if we put a two in front of the lithium? So now we will have two times one lithium atoms. We will have two times one nitrogen atoms. We will have two times three, so six oxygens. Let's look at one more with everything in it. First up, calcium. Calcium does not have a small number, so we're going to put a one there. Three times one is three. How about nitrogen? Well, we're taking a big number, three. There's no small number, so we're going to put a one there times two. Two times one times three. Six nitrogen atoms. What about O? Oh, two times three times three. Nine times two, 18. So we have three calcium, six nitrogen, and 18 oxygens.